Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the channel. As always, thanks for stopping by and hanging out for a few. My name is Rich. I'm the channel host. And if you're new to this channel, we talk a lot about building our small drone businesses, imaging, software, hardware to get ourselves literally off the ground. So today, the intro is going to be really short. We're going to dive into a much longer topic today. I want to talk to you about our evolution with how we deliver information to our clients and why that's really appealing to our clients. So I hope you hang in through the whole video. We're going to have chapter markers below so that you can jump to different sections. But we're going to start all this out talking about a conversation I had yesterday with one of my current clients. All right, so I've switched up the screens. Now I'm down in the lower corner. I wanted you to be able to see everything. So what we're looking at right now is a website presentation for one of my earliest larger clients that was doing a pretty incredible um, job site. So they were doing a new apartment complex here in Prescott, Arizona, and they had actually contacted me July of 2019 to see if we could fly their job site for them. They didn't know what they were looking for. They had some investment, um, investment folks who had suggested to them that they have a drone on site on a regular basis to document the changes at the construction site to showcase not only the construction folks but the final build as well so these folks got in touch with me way back when july of 2019 and they had no idea what they were looking for the person who contacted me wasn't an engineer or a construction person or anything like that the person who contacted me was the accountant for the firm and they explained to me they weren't sure what they were looking for and could we help them out so i asked them i said could you let me fly your location this weekend and i want to put together a small presentation i'd been playing around with the idea of utilizing web pages for presentations for my clients and let's talk about this here an accountant called me does an accountant usually look at blueprints do they talk to the engineers are they working with the architects no usually they're dealing with the finance side of things and after the conversation with this accountant i said i want to make something that not only will the engineers and the builders understand but i also want the accountant to be able to understand it i want this presentation to be able to be put in front of anybody and have them understand what was going on so i'd been playing around with the idea of building custom web pages and so this is this is the wayback machine here not the wayback machine uh, website but the wayback machine of doing these types of jobs so i wanted to pull this up and show this and share this and this all ties into what my client and i talked about yesterday a different client but so when we started this out we were doing ortho mosaics we were doing time lapse videos time lapse still images and we were regularly going out to fly for these folks we were flying once a month for them and the final compilation really wowed me so number one a rudimentary web page with some nice layout number two the videos that we were providing to them i was actually posting on youtube as unlisted links and so that i could build it into the web page and then when i'd send the web page links to my clients um folks could just view things right there so it was kind of built right in you know they could jump to what they wanted to see in addition to our uh, time lapse videos we also had a video of time lapse stills and let me hit the refresh button here because apparently this hung up this morning there we go and the big one that everyone absolutely loved was the ortho mosaic so we still are doing mapping and modeling as well but we also provide other services but this was one of the big ones this was one of the most important things to the viewers. I heard back from this company every month and every month they said that they absolutely loved these before and afters. So from way back July of 2019 on the right hand side, you can see the construction just starting. And on the left hand side, you can see the finished product um, in September of 2020 and you can utilize this slider to check it out. So this has been one of our big selling points to folks but the other big one is actually the time-lapse videos so i'm going to pull this up here we're actually playing this on screen so the viewers could watch it on the page or they could watch it full size through youtube as well so you can see our july of 2019 we've got one area that wasn't built and then we jump all the way to september 2020 and we show all that change that went on this absolutely wowed this particular client set not only did it wow the client set 
their venture capitalists, their investors were waiting on each of these. So I could actually watch the statistics on the website and the only people who were getting this link was my clients. They were then sharing the link out to other people they work with. And on average, on a day when I launched a page like this, I'd usually have 90 to 97 people viewing this new progression page. Absolutely incredible. So this is how we got our start with our uh, custom page building. And this type of presentation didn't just wow them. It gave them a lot of information in a quick amount of time. It helped them avoid having to fly here to see firsthand what's happening. Drone work that we do, you guys as well, can play an important role in keeping project members up to date and knowledgeable about what's happening at their job site. So let's go ahead and pause this right here now and let's move over to what we've been doing more for our clients now. We actually made a website called seemybuilt.com and this is where we can actually track the progress for our current clients. So one of our clients is the Solstice Project and as you can see on the drop down, we already have a lot of items here for them. And we were discussing just yesterday some additions that our clients wanted, which we're going to show in the next section. So from early on, we wanted to make presentations much easier so that not only could our clients check things out, the builders, um, the venture capitalists, the subcontractors, we wanted everyone to be able to see and use this and get some information out of it. And yesterday I was having a conversation with my client from the Solstice Project, well, with one of my clients from the Solstice Project. And I asked the question at the wrap up of the call, I always like to know if we're doing a good job for the clients and if there's anything more they need. And the, um, the person who I was talking to, Anthony, um, he said to me, the feedback that they've been getting from their investors is nothing but A plus positive responses. They love the short presentation format. They like to see the changes in the site. They like to see the orthos. So when we think of drone construction, mapping and modeling, that's where we think of our deliverables and time lapses and things but we can insert so many more things. We can put the video time-lapse, still time-lapse, 360s of the structures, 360s of the locations. Um, we can do two-dimensional models, three-dimensional models. This is all available to us. And Anthony said to me yesterday that the investors that they're dealing with and the other projects that they're dealing with, they had said to him, they've never seen a presentation like this. I can't for a minute believe that there aren't other drone operators out there doing these kind of interactive presentations. I just can't believe that. I know some of you are doing it and you've got to really push to the folks that you're working with how unique and how powerful these tools are. So keep that in mind. I am hearing from a national company that other projects across the United States are not doing these types of presentations for their clients. That wows me. So I hope this reaches you as you're building your drone business and you consider the other ways that you can present things to your clients. Don't just package things up in a zip file and stick it in a Dropbox. Don't make a little PDF document referring to the next 40 images that you shot. Show them and show them with a web page. And um, there are other ways, of course, to do web presentations, but this is ours. I've got a couple of classes uh, at classes.azdrone.net that not only cover the web page building and can get most anyone started with it, um, but it will also fuel your own ideas for the types of presentations you want to do. So it's not just important to wow the clients, we're giving them something usable. We're giving them something to refer to. In a couple of months time down the road, they might say, Hey, did we see those conduits go in back at that, you know, early house that we were flying in December and January? And the answer is going to be yes, because we were doing 360 interiors of these homes as well. So this is one of our latest. This is April the 1st, and we also just put out April 15th. We're doing this job twice a month. And when we scroll down here, the first thing we have is the Solstice video. So this is a time-lapse video from the previous flight to the current flight so that folks get the idea of what's happened, what's progressed over time in that last two weeks. 
Of course, we also have our 2D maps here, and these are before and after ortho mosaics. Like I said, in some of my other jobs, clients are really wowed by these. This current client is really enjoying the videos. That's the primary thing they're always looking for. And by the way, just to let you know, so the building company that I'm dealing with, um, they actually get in queries from their investors. Hey, when is the next one of these pages coming out? When are we going to review this page at another build meeting? So this has become something as a regular staple for what they want to see when they're getting updates about the overall job site. So this job site, 53 homes in total over the next couple of years. We also did a 3D site model just for reference. These clients aren't looking for measurements. They're not looking for elevation information. You don't have to be a survey engineer to provide this level of data. Now, if they do want more, if they want uh, measurability, then we're gonna start getting into some higher end flights, higher end drones, looking into RTK, and looking to create that survey grade information. Here's the thing though, we've talked to a lot of clients about this and most of them haven't been asking us for this. They have been asking for these presentations and they have been asking to show them over time what is changing on their sites. And so we rotate things as well. We don't put up 360s on every one of these, but I wanted to show you this particular visit because I wanted to share with you that we're also doing these 360 interiors and we're also going to be doing FPV flights through these locations as well, especially the model homes. So what does this mean for you? You might have a bit of a learning curve. All right, so what did I mean in the last segment about a bit of a learning curve? Well, not everyone knows how to build websites. I hear this back from students often. I hear this back from my YouTube community that maybe you don't want to get into website building for your clients. I understand that. There are a lot of good web builders out there. I'm thinking about Squarespace in particular. We're using a WordPress installation ourselves, but up on classes.azdrone.net, we have a full instructional series on how you can build something similar to this. We've also got a full instructional series on the different types of jobs that we do. So how we actually make money with our drones. Those two classes can really get you thinking uh, big time about how you want to provide a presentation. So let's just go over to classes.azdrone.net and then we'll come back to the Solstice Project. And I just wanted to share with you. So the two big classes that I'm really proud of this year that have been helping a lot of people and giving me a ton of feedback is the Make Money With Your Drone. We actually share several of our projects that are completed and several of our projects that are ongoing. And we talk to you about all the different things that we're doing on those projects, including presentations like we're talking about today. In addition to that, make money with your drone one. Um, we also have custom drone deliverable pages for your clients. And I just want to share with you an email contact that I got from one of our students on our custom drone deliverable web pages. So um, RC got in touch and he said, so far, this is the most complete, concise, and practical WordPress course I've ever seen. Excellent, Rich. Not only, uh, not only you cover WordPress, but you apply the technology in a practical way. So I wanted to share that with you because that's a current student. I got that notification just the other day. And that really made me feel good about what we're doing and what we're building, not only for our clients, but for our students. So when you click into this one, and like I said, you do not have to be a high-end web page builder to actually follow along with this course and be able to do what we're doing. So in this course, we actually have two free previews. I suggest you check them out um, to give you the class concept and then getting set up with WordPress. Now we don't teach you how to work with all these different WordPress hosting companies. You can read through and check them out. But once you've got it set up, we're gonna to talk to you start to finish about building your website and also building those custom website pages that end up looking like something like this. So in addition to just um, what we showed you a few moments ago, I wanted to go down to the latest one, the Solstice 16th to share a little bit more with you because like I said, we do mix things up. We change things around. We, we're not just about that information. There's a little bit of entertainment factor there as well. So if you're wowing the client with your presentation, you know they're going to want you to continue doing more of these and you know that you're going to get great referrals from them.
So in scrolling down here, we have two videos this time around. We've got one video of our regular exterior flights. Our second video actually includes fly throughs with the DJI Avada because these folks want to see flights through their construction projects as well. And heck, I want to fly through them because it's kind of cool. All right, let's scroll on down here and I need to hit the refresh again. Why is my network doing this this morning? So there we go. We also have the before and after April 1st to April 16th to show some more changes. There's only been minor changes over that period of time, but we're gonna see things moving faster in the near future. Once again, we also fly a 3D site model every time. So there's our photogrammetry. So we're not saying, you know, photogrammetry is out the window for these presentations. We're saying, it's not as big of a part as some people make it. Drone photogrammetry is a powerful tool, but it's not the end-all be-all when you're talking about construction progression reports. It's one part of many parts. If you go down the rabbit hole of only focusing on um, progression reports based on photogrammetry, you're gonna skip a lot of services that you can share with your client, and more importantly, bill with your client. If you can raise the price of each of your site visits and provide the customer something, all the better, man. All right, let's scroll down here. So we also had a simple image gallery from this one, and we didn't do a set of 360s on this particular one. On our next flight through, yes, we're gonna be doing some additional things. And before we wrap up on this, I need to tell you, when you do this type of work, it's going to turn into other work. The whole reason that we had our conversation yesterday wasn't to praise the reports that we're doing for the client. It was actually the client asking for more services. So over the course of the next week, we're gonna be doing additional flights around the greater Prescott area, the golf course that's close by to this build out, and some of the recreational opportunities in the area. And we're gonna be making some marketing bumpers for their main website, for the sales website, which we're not building for them. Um, they've already got a marketing firm for that, and I'm okay with that, because that's a lot of different work that I'm not so comfortable with. I'm not a great marketing guy, but I'm good at building these types of things. So the conversation we had yesterday was introducing a bunch of new services and a bunch of payable items that will be coming back to us that go beyond what you're seeing here. So once you do a great job on the job, expect more requests. So there we have it, everybody. Drone construction deliverables are about more than just photogrammetry, more than just mapping and modeling. You can offer a ton of services, and I'm sure that there are some services popping into your head right now that I haven't even thought about. So in the comments section below, be sure to leave a note. Let me know if you've got some other ideas to improve these types of presentations for your customers and for my customers as well. I'd really appreciate your input. I hope this one has held your attention all the way along. And if you look down in our show description below, you're going to see that we do have a couple of coupon codes and those coupon codes can be used not only on our website deliverables class, but also on that make money with your drone class and you can take a look through all of our other courses at classes.azdrone.net. We also do offer a full complete class bundle that covers all of our courses that we have in here. So we have conversations about autonomous flight, 2D and 3D modeling, building these types of presentation websites, and also building and maintaining time-lapse video setups for our clients to show them their whole build over time. I hope this was really useful to everybody. I hope you've enjoyed this one, and I hope that you didn't click away seeing how long this one is going to run. I'm really glad you stuck with it, and I hope that you have some awesome ideas for your next job for your clients.